The ABCs of Economics, An Introduction to Macroeconomics, with a Relatable Twist. Greetings, fellow explorers of the economic universe. Get ready to embark on a journey that brings a touch of humor to the sometimes perplexing realm of macroeconomics. We're about to decipher the alphabet soup of economic concepts, where A is for adventurous learning, B is for bringing it down to earth, and C is for connecting with real life. So, let's dive into this expedition of economic insights. A is for aggregate demand and supply, assembled pieces of the puzzle. Let's think of the economy as a massive puzzle, and aggregate demand and supply are two critical pieces that fit together. Imagine shoppers, businesses, governments, and even international traders all bringing their pieces to the table. Aggregate demand represents their collective desire for goods and services, while aggregate supply represents what producers can offer. This puzzle-solving exercise showcases how prices and quantities come into play, influencing the economic picture we see. B is for business cycles, navigating the ups and downs. Envision the economy as a journey with its share of ups and downs, just like life itself. Business cycles are those phases where economic activity sways between boom times and slowdowns. During booms, production and spending surge like confetti, while slowdowns bring about a more cautious approach. Understanding these cycles helps us anticipate changes, much like predicting the twists and turns on a road trip. C is for consumption and investment, spending with a purpose. Picture your financial choices as a duo, consumption and investment. Consumption is all about daily life spending, treating yourself to that morning coffee or enjoying a streaming service. On the flip side, investment is the strategic choice that benefits you in the long run, like saving for a rainy day or putting money into endeavors that yield future returns. It's a bit like balancing instant gratification with smart planning. D is for deficits and debt, balancing active budgeting. Now, let's tackle government finances, a balancing act akin to managing a household budget. Deficits happen when governments spend more than they gather, and debt is the accumulated amount owed over time. Think of it as the equivalent of keeping track of your credit card statements and ensuring that your financial health stays in check. E is for exchange rates, the global currency translator. Enter the world of global transactions with exchange rates. These rates act as interpreters, converting your home currency into foreign ones. It's like figuring out how much your money is worth in different countries. So, whether you're planning an international adventure or assessing the value of foreign trade, understanding these rates helps you decode the universal language of currency. F is for fiscal and monetary policy, steering the economic ship. Finally, let's meet the captains of the economic ship. Fiscal and monetary policy. Fiscal policy involves government actions like spending and taxation to influence the economy's direction. Meanwhile, monetary policy, controlled by central banks, deals with interest rates and money supply to keep the economic engine running smoothly. It's a bit like adjusting the sails and navigating the choppy waters of economic fluctuations. In conclusion, navigating with a smile. And there you have it, a friendly tour of the ABCs of macroeconomics with a relatable twist. From assembling the economic puzzle to navigating the highs and lows of business cycles, this journey mirrors life's uncertainties. Remember, economics isn't just for experts, it's for everyday enthusiasts who want to understand the forces shaping our financial world. So, gear up, embrace the insights, and embark on a voyage that connects your world with the captivating realm of macroeconomics.